in the front. <laughs> Nothing matters. Everything is going swell. Did it finish the intro? Yeah, we're good. We're going. What's up? We're he we're here. Hi. Hi, Red Thirteen. Hi, Hi. Tyrant Hill. We were. <laughs> so the thing was, you don't understand how oh, many audio audio. Is audio issues you missed because I couldn't even start the stream because the damn PS2 wouldn't output audio, which today we're not even supposed to be playing PS2, but that's wires my bad. got crossed. That's my bad. It's fine. I'm not upset about it. I'm just saying that's why we're <laughs> playing this. And I wasn't ready for it. We were gonna, we were gonna, we were gonna play remotely, um, a spooky, spooky game, game, and I just drove over here like an idiot anyway. And I spent too long because I was setting up VR. I have VR now. It's set up permanently. It's really cool. There's no wires you cross over. It took forever to set up, and I was running late. And now that's set up. So set up a PS2. Couldn't figure out the audio issue. The audio issue turned out to be fucking nothing. I turned the PS2 off and I turned it back on, and it worked. And now we're here, and we're 40 minutes late. And now I'm drinking. I'm drinking booze. I know that Halloween is over, but this was supposed to be oh. spooky week. <laughs> How do I kill that spider? He was like above me. Uh. Yeah, I, we, we should have streamed the... <laughs> we'll stream it some other time. You know we will. Oh my God. How's everybody else doing? Relaxed? At 9.40? Oh my gosh, the spider. No, November 1st is too too soon for Mariah Carey. No, it's not. It's too soon. I'm ready. I'm ready for Christmas music. I Christmas, as much as I love Halloween, Christmas is my favorite holiday. But it is still too early. Because we're not even we haven't even gave gave the thanks yet. There's no Thanksgiving music. It's just Christmas music. No, I know. There's no Thanksgiving music. But there's all the death cab for cutie. We're still well, in. You can still listen to Death Cab and listen to Christmas. We're just saying. I'm just saying. It's still, it's still autumn, autumnal, and it's time for sad boy music. That's I, how you do I it. I love, I love Mariah Carey. I love her Christmas music. It's just too early for me. I have not given up the spooky ghost yet. Um. <laughs> I will say that I am probably the fakest Mariah Carey fan. I'll give you that. But I am no fake Christmas fan. I am. I decorate extensively for Christmas. I barely decorate for Halloween. I just. Halloween decorations come in two flavors. Like fall. <laughs> Orange and black. Fall or like, it's like, oh, pumpkins and stuff. Or it's like, cemetery, caution tape. You're dead. Tyrant Heel, same. My birthday is at the end of November, and if we go straight to Christmas, then I only get one present, which is how it always was. I'll just get you a big present. Okay, moving from 20 to $30 is not getting me a big present. <laughs> I don't care about presents, just, okay, okay. Look at that thing go around there. Oh, why can't I not hit this guy? Oh, J-Cab in the house. Bell you. <laughs> Bell you? Bell you, I'm out of kind. It's, I agree, way too early Christmas. Oh, I hate okay. doing, uh, like, precision with, uh, with a joypad. Joy I'm sorry. Pad. Joystick. D-pad. It's so hard. It's joy, J. Ugh. What am I hitting? I'm still cooling off from trying to get this stream work, and I was I was frantically moving things about. Couldn't even hit that guy. He's right in front of me. If I were a lesser person who cared none of quality or, or anything, wow. I would have a push button set up. But I don't. I have a many push button set up. It, it takes a lot of effort to get this thing going. It doesn't need to. There are much easier ways to do it, but then I wouldn't do, be doing it my way or the highway. I keep trying to tell you to do it my way. I'm saying, I don't care about presents. I care about the accuracy. Oh my god. Oh, if you looked at the other side of this, which I think I've sent pictures before, there is nothing but a, a space module amount of buttons in front of us. 
fucking hit this one. You'll get it. Got him. Oh, got it. Got him. Oh, I, I understand. I know. I think anybody, everybody in the chat at this moment has seen this basement and knows what a place it is. I do not call it the mothership. Uh, the name for this location right now, I just refer to it to as the lab. The basement. The basement or the lab. The basement. You haven't seen my basement? I, I, I'm surprised. There's one in there. I could have sworn you've been over here, but maybe not. There's another. The box. Yeah, how's that going? I heard you're uh, you're you're taking on some VO. Oh my god. We should get a, a soundboard. What's the box? Uh, so I, as far as I'm, I read, Nervous Hair has got into voice acting. Oh, nice. And so he built himself a box to get a better sound quality. I think that's great. 20 bucks, that's good already. Okay, you've been briefed. Maybe you haven't seen it. This place keeps getting more intense. Like I said, before before Tim got here, I was setting up uh, room scale VR. So now I have room scale VR set up. Um. <laughs> I know you have. <laughs> but now it has VR. Oh, it's a totally different place. This place gets crazier. I, I dread thinking about moving and having to break this all down. And hopefully if moving happens, it would be to a bigger place. Nah, small. No. I used to be that. I used to be that boy. Like I, used to, I only need the possessions for a carload of possessions. That's what I. I had my life down to a car. And yet. And now it is significantly. Yeah, you like them to a car, a car because you were storing a bunch of stuff at your parents' place. But it wasn't important stuff. Like I didn't have anything that was. It was like, all of this stuff. No. What didn't you have like boxes? I sold all gaming that. consoles. When I moved to Denver, you I sold. So, I oh. sold everything. This is all rebought. Dang, that sounds like. I sold it for significantly less money than it was worth. And did you buy it for more money than you sold it? Like rebuy it? Uh, yeah, probably, but I, none of this stuff I bought, almost all that I bought in broken condition, and then I, I fixed it. Uh huh. So I bought That's it for, for much less. VR probably made from wire hanging. No, it's real VR. Oh my god. Uh, which okay, voice act, yeah, for real. Oh, my, I hate I, I hate Spider Cave. I know how to make audio panels. Yeah, so um, some people in this chat will remember, and I still have the equipment for it. But uh, back in probably early 2011, 2012, I don't remember exactly when we did. When we started an improv group at Purdue, still going strong. Check out Ad Liberation if you're on campus. Um, we wanted to have music, but we didn't have anybody who could play an instrument uh, and, and then perform. We like, tried it. We tried it. It was bad. It was hard. It's really hard to do improv yeah. music, to do it well. Um, and if they want to play in scenes, it's, you're kind of like full-time devoted to playing music, so it's not really fair. We didn't have anybody like that. Um, and so <laughs> I, we, I had like a... a a uh, MIDI keyboard, like a piano, it doesn't like um, output anything. It's it's for a computer and you use it usually for music creation. Uh, and I had it because I was trying to learn piano and I bought that because it was cheaper than buying a, a real keyboard. Um, and so what I did was I programmed a sound panel with like emotions and like sound effects. So, and I, I labeled the keyboard so you could hit a key and then it would play it uh, random for the moods. Um, and a couple of sound effects for it, like to try to like enhance the the scene, and it worked really well, and it still works. But um, this was before like you could easily have like a tablet that you program with samples. Uh, we had like a laptop with that thing on stage. It was great. I w I still am proud of that setup. I made that in PD, which is a graphical programming language for audio. It's, it's hard. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> well. <laughs> I, so here's here's my philosophy now. It used to be own all the hardware, um, a g gaming hardware that I could. My philosophy now... Seems like that's still your philosophy. It's not. I'll tell you what it is. If I can get it to a state of 
having really good accuracy of being able to play the games, then I will get rid of the hardware. So like that little Mr. Box, um, which is an FPGA emulated hardware, it can do so many things. Like you can do SNES and Genesis and, and it's always improving. As soon as it does the system really well, I will sell the system. If you look, there's no more Sega Genesis over there. Um, where's my Where's my Genesis, Matt? I gave you your Genesis. Are you sure you gave it back to me? Yeah. I don't, I don't think you did. I, I definitely did. If not, there's one over there, but I definitely did. Um, and so, like, the Saturn, the, the Saturn cores really well, and I have a Saturn over there. So as soon as that gets in really good accuracy, I'll sell my Saturn. I think it's still here. You do live in next to one of the, the coolest places for um, audio stuff, Sweetwater. You know where that is? You can kind of figure out about where Nervous Hair lives. They will not stop calling you if you ever buy one thing from them. <laughs> Years go by, and hey, just Brad come from Sweetwater Sound. Uh, <laughs> I we bought a freaking guitar strap for Mary's, my wife's dad, Mary's dad, um, like ten years ago. And occasionally we'll still get calls from. Yeah, I see. We, uh, how you? <laughs> how's that guitar strap working out for you? Hey, this is a uh, Jim. I took over your account at Sweetwater. It's uh, so annoying. <laughs> Uh, the place is cool. It's, it's really neat. They have so much stuff. And the problem with going to Sweetwater for me a lot is um, my setups are all like, hey, what's what's like some super old equipment that I think I can make work if I put a little time into it? Um, what can I buy really, really cheaply? The camera that you're watching us on is, is meant for CCTV. Um, it is... It is all just hacked together, old shit. The card that I'm using to capture this audio optically, I got from Kazakhstan? Because it's like a 20-year-old card that barely works, but it works for what I need. Now, I haven't been to the used use stuff room. I bet you there's some really cool stuff there. <laughs> Darren Hill, you have people call you. No, don't even. I wish people would call <laughs> me. Like who? <laughs> My power supply is. D I mean, I have. That tracks. I have a lot of. Uh, I have single handedly put some sort of wire tie magnates kids through college with how much of that stuff I have here. Uh, how about some good news for the week? Um, let's give it up for Lula da Silva, who is now the president incumbent of Brazil. And Bolsonaro is gone to live with someone he truly cares about, the novel coronavirus. I think him and his wife are splitting now, too, because uh, it was speculated that they were just in it for the politics, and now they don't follow each other on Instagram. This is Bolsonaro and his wife. So, uh, yeah, oh if, any, if any, anybody's looking, uh, here, Jair Bolsonaro is a single... Ladies, because that's who he's into. Freaking, freaking spider cave, man. Hate it. Hate but now, it. but now we hate it with sound. Like, how do I miss? How did I miss that just now? I, it's, it's really hard. I can't judge the platform. Literally really well. jumped right through that. I love the fascist Instagram gossip. I know. We all love it. <laughs> Are you? Eraviste, are you the novel coronavirus? Like, how did I just walk through that orb and not pick it up? Ugh. <laughs> Donald Trump is dead. Did anybody not hear this? Although, we're not on Twitter right now, so I don't want to get TOS. Donald Trump is not dead. Uh, Amazon.com. Twitch.com's parent company. I am not sp spreading information. But on Twitter.com, you can say whatever the fuck you want. Jeff Bezos, you're my best friend. I love you. And your wonderful platforms. Uh, uh. <laughs> I love how people you, think Elon Musk is like a self-made man. He's such a moron. I live on Twitter. He, I, is, a, he is a moron. I, I live on Twitter. I, I'm addicted to it. Um, he sucks ass. And is so dumb. Like, 
it, that's what I'm like watching him destroy Twitter because he bought it for way too much money because he was trying to like get someone back. thinks I'm cool yeah like trying to get back at his uh, daughter who is trans and was like my dad sucks and I don't want to talk to him and he's like I'll show you I'll buy Twitter and get rid of their TOS for 44 billion which is way overvalued it's, um, it's crazy just the stuff he's like how about eight dollars and everyone's like no why would I want this and then all the advertisers are like uh hey yeah um we don't want to advertise on platforms like truth social or Ga gab or any of these he's such a speed running the destruction of a company it's it's actually yeah. it's fun to watch because he's such a dickhead Yeah, my dad had an emerald mine. I'm very self-made in a apartheid South, Af South Africa. Yeah. you down there, Red? Well, you down there? God, I hate Spider King. <laughs> People have been posting the uh, the Simpsons uh, where where Homer keeps eating that nasty moldy sandwich in relation to Bolsonaro. <laughs> Please, Marge. I need to be alone with my COVID. I don't know what 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 happened. So. so, so Bolsonaro has had COVID a lot of times, a lot of times. Um, so much so that it it seems like he really like that's one of his favorite things to do. <laughs> it's novel. It's it's so novel. Oh yeah, <laughs> everyone changing their. Uh, Get rid of the the hashtag or the the blue check mark and just put a rat. It's free, and you could be rat verified. <laughs> I still have such a uh, a terrible association of rat rat verified with uh, the number one rat, Pete Buttigieg. Pete Buttigieg, rat face motherfucker. <laughs> I, 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 what was well, that? I don't know. It, it didn't look like it hit you. And then I hit the ground, but then I slid into a hole. Oh, I, I, Pete Buttigieg is, um, is not good. Just like made in a lab to be a person. Yeah. Oh, what the? Made in a lab, worked for McKenzie, probably worked for the CIA or currently works for the CIA. Not a good feller. And honestly, the, the looks thing, that's really the, the least things I have a problem with Buttigieg at all. It's his milk toast, mealy mouth approach to politics, um, his seemingly like uh, sterile, um, uh, like trying to, to win over people by being like the least offensive candidate, uh, but not actually advocating for anything. Um, you are describing Democrats. Oh, I know. I mean, he's like trying to be the, the like alpha the alpha democrat yeah i i just want um they kind of look like big daddies yeah. um, i hey if we build trains awesome let's build all the trains yeah you ever heard about like indiana interurbans that used to run like from every tiny town had a train you could take to the big city. Like, everywhere was connected. And then the car companies and then bought cars, up all the urbans. And then cars. And then... And now people are, like... Like, retro... Retconning history. They're like, Oh, well, uh, interurbans were really, like, the precursor to interstates. And I was like, No, they weren't. No. They were public transportation. You could hop on a train, like, in any Indiana small town and go... And, it, like... The whole country was connected. They, I mean, we have the remnants of streetcars here. You can see them. Yeah. Um, and then car companies were like, uh, but we want to make money. Yeah, the, the, it's not profitable to have public transportation for companies. It is very profitable to have individuals be in charge of their own transportation. It's not as good. It is way more costly to the environment and resources, and it costs more money, but they get to make that money. Do you ever think about that? Do you ever think about the poor car companies? There's a book that I am, uh, that is on my list called um, Road to Nowhere by Paris Marx, and it is all about 
that, the history of automobility and, and where we came from and where we want. I'm very excited to read it. I hear it's, it's very good. These sideways bits. Could you imagine, like, commuting to work and not having to pay attention the whole time? Sounds pretty good to me. What's even better is no commute, which is what I have now. Love it. Love it. Hyperloop? No. <laughs> the guy who's in charge of um, uh, Twitter right now, do you trust that man to do any sort of advanced new transportation? Because I don't. What was that supposed? Where was that supposed to take me? Oh, my God. I don't know. I hear it. Let's go. <laughs> I'm, I'm trolley-pilled. That is exactly where I am. Jolly boy. Trelay. You can only watch. <laughs> okay, so you were up here. I'm wondering, like... I just... I need to go this way. Oh, gotcha. Is that, like, a big man in the center? Yeah, it's, like, a big precursor man. Are, is, are they going to activate? I think the whole thing is, like, they're trying to activate him. And oh. Oh. I gotta stop it or something. They're building a high-speed rail, I think, for the station show to stop in my town. Yeah, um, unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to ever see that because I will be in the fucking ground by that time. As God is my witness. <laughs> <laughs> Matt loves cars so much. I actually do like cars. Like, on a personal level, I really like yeah. cars. I love driving, and I like cars a lot, um, but not enough to, like, kill the planet. <laughs> Not that well, much. Well, that's why you don't own a car company. That's true. That's, that is ex that's the only reason I don't own a car company. <laughs> it's your morals. Otherwise, I'd own a car company. Not just a car, but a car company. I gotta get over Fake fan. <laughs> yeah. But seriously, I mean, yeah. I like I like fast cars. I like cars, uh, like working on cars. I like driving cars. Cars with chicken pox. <laughs> <laughs> I like green cars. I like red cars. Um, Where frick do I get up there? But yeah, I have I have infinite uh, like a uh, like uh, uh, attachment to car. I've had my car forever. I really like it. Um, I think it is where I was. I, think I just messed up the jump. Oh, this is annoying. No, I I I think J Cap. I think we'll all be on the ground by then. Name five cars. Whitney Houston. <laughs> that was a a joke I saw on uh, an old tweet that was like. Oh, if you're such a feminist, name all the women. And someone said Whitney Houston. <laughs> if you know, if you know her body of work. That's that would be funny. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't no, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. I can't conversate right now. That's fine. Exactly. Nervous hair. Got it. Ah. How was I to know? Because the camera in this game It's not good. Like I can give I can grant it some kind of grace with it like being such an early 3D it's platformer. Working against me. But this was post Mario 64, which camera's not perfect, but come on. That was an amazing precursor. Speaking of Mario 64, we have 64 precursor orbs. Oh, nice. Yeah. How's everybody else doing? Oh, I saw another orb over there. How's everybody else doing this week? Everything going to cool plans? To, to cool plans. That was a good sentence you made. <laughs> My ability to form... Oh, no! It's worth a shot. The ability to form sentences have left my body, much like the end of Spooky Season and the start of Mariah Carey Season. Oh, interview today. Um, where, where are you interviewing? Like close by? How the weekend was good. I, I didn't do much. I uh, passed out candy to kids. That was on Monday. 
Um, we had a decent amount. I yeah. remember buying some candy and then, oh, what the fuck? Oh, that was intentional. By the end of it, um, whoever came by got a lot of candy towards the end. <laughs> Oh, that's great. I'm glad to hear it's at local university in any town USA. Local university. <laughs> and I hope that it pays more my money, which unfortunately at local university is kind of how it goes. You have to change jobs to make more money. They don't want to pay you more in the same position or in the same department, which is Awful, especially for jobs that require institutional knowledge, like most of them at godforsaken local university. So, um, Tyrant Hill, how was oh, nice. your Halloween party that you were really trying to get us to ask you about last time? Oh, yeah. And we didn't take the bait. Um, I saw the slightly more clothed version at Spooky Stroll to the polls, what which is, I saw some of you there. What is Spooky Stroll to the polls? What is Spooky Stroll to the polls? So for the past three, uh, four years, no, you shouldn't. For four years, three years, four years, um, a bunch of the coalition partners that we have have come together around Halloween and everyone gets dressed up and <laughs> what? Just reading the chat. And then we go, and we go vote. We do our local duty. We vote for the less of every evil. And you, this year, uh, candidate we've been working for, uh, I should say we've been working for, but not on behalf, or on behalf of, but not for. There's no coordination between the campaigns legally for legal reasons. Um, but she's great. I was so glad to be able to vote for her. Uh, Monica Casanova, if you haven't voted, go vote for Monica. And we've done that and gone and voted in costume just to get everybody together and danced on over there. It's great. Um, so uh, next time uh, we vote, which will be next year for the mu municipal elections, come on, join us. How's everyone's workplace unionizing? I mean, I am in a union. Yeah. Already. Tim, Tim's already in a union. Um, mine, I feel like it would be really tough to do. Not impossible and not something that's not worth doing, just very hard. It was a little sad, I mean, but some folks did have some. <laughs> Spoken. <laughs> well, uh, good for them, I guess. Good. good. Have, I'm, glad, I'm glad that they are doing that. Yeah, what is the percentage of participation required? to turn a little party sex into an orgy. Greater than three participants. So four is an orgy, apparently. Orgy. A 4G, I was going to say the same thing. A 4G network. <laughs> What's the tipping rules? I think there's a lot of tipping rules when it comes to orgies. Oh, 15%. Come on. Come on. 25 men. Minimum. 25 men? Maybe. Oh, you said min. Min, minimum. I was like, there were, I'm not looking at the chat. I, mean, I, was like, I was like, did you just say if the four, is the four is the minimum, but there could be 25 men. There could be a lot. I just think the, logistically no that's really limit. hard. There's no upper limit. The limit does not exist. I feel like, again, you have to worry about, yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I feel like if you're going to be a part of an orgy, like you really have to, I think you should consider the feelings and, and everything of the other people. Like it's, it's about everyone having a good time. You don't want to leave people out. We have orgy at home. We don't need to go get orgy. We have orgy, we have orgy, at, orgy home. at home. The orgy at home. <laughs> I am. <laughs> yeah, I mean, kinda. If it's the end of a standard American workday, fuck, you bet I have a headache. Orgy from concentrating. <laughs> you guys are funny today. Was it a Dahmer joke? God, I hope fucking not. <laughs> it is now. Yeah, God. Fine. Guess yeah, I'll die. That's what you get for the Dahmer comment. Are you having a good time? 
with tears in your eyes. But that's, I feel like that's how I would be too. It's like, is everyone. Were you like passing you around good? snacks? Everyone having a good time? All right, cool, 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 cool. I love how the <laughs> snacks. I mean, I, I assume like if everyone's going at it, like you're going to need to hydrate. You need protein bars. You need to go like if you're going the you distance. keep up your strength. I mean, I assume that like it's not like a, okay, let's get this party started. And then 15 minutes later, everyone's asleep. Oh, 15 minutes is way too long. <laughs> I'm saying you got to you got to have some legs in this. I am at. Yes, you don't want to. You do not want heavy hors d'oeuvres at an orgy. I was trying to make it work too. <laughs> yeah. Horse divorce. Horse too close. Horsey divorce. Horse divorce. There you go. Where? There he <laughs> is. I honestly, I bet you they do take a lot of planning. This is me speculating. I haven't been a part of one. Um, I probably won't be a part of one, but but I imagine. I'm just imagining. That's the spirit. Hundreds of crab raccoons. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> an orgy can be people or just a bunch of crab raccoons. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Is that what we're calling a bunch of crab raccoon now? An, an, an orgy? orgy of crab raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this is, we're not making, uh, at least I'm not making fun of orgies. I'm saying like, that's great. Everyone has a good time. There's this freaking spider again. More than three rat raccoon is an orgy. That's right. When you're placing your order at Enlay, just say I want hey. an orgy of was that crab an orgy joke? It was an Enlay joke. Hey. I think Enlay is gross as fuck. Oh, I don't. That's good. I hate it. Get that curry shrimp with onion. <laughs> this economy? <laughs> An orgy? In this economy? They just raised interest rates again, which is true and stupid and a way to discipline labor. But you know what? We're not talking about that right now. <laughs> what? I, I, I know it's like a place we live, um, sp like, staple, uh, especially for townies. Um, I just don't like MLA. Or or whatever it is. You're wrong. It's good. So I loved Rice Cafe. I, I ordered Rice Cafe so often, especially because I, I lived pretty close to it. And they have General So's tofu, and it was amazing. However, one time, here's the, here's even, I'll, I'll just give my, my credits to show why, to tell why I don't order it anymore. One time I was eating uh, Rice Cafe, <laughs> and there was a rock in it that I bit <laughs> down on. Like, a rock rock. <laughs> um, and and it, like, I was like, oh, th disgusting. And I was like, but still. And so I, I threw it away. I kept eating. I got so, so massively sick off of Rice Cafe t one time. It, there's only been two times in my life that I can recall such terrible food poisoning that I, I like passed out. One of them w no longer exists. Thank God. And that was Boiler Market. And I actually almost cracked oh, my Boiler skull. I'm ne I never ate there. I was in such pain that like I had tunnel vision and I, I passed out and I fell in, uh, uh, I was in a dorm and it was like in a bathroom. And like there was a, an all tile bench and I was this close to actually like a uh, million dollar babying it on that. Yeah. Um, so painful. And the other one was Rice Cafe. I haven't gone to either since because of that. Boiler Market's where Mad Mushroom is. I, I'm yeah, telling you, that, that reference, because that's how close it was. Like, it was dangerously. When I came to, I was like, wow. There, the, I, I could have been uh, in some serious trouble. Man, chat's going. I'm glad um, that, that I have to, like, scroll up because I haven't seen it. I re everyone has a I got sick from rice cafe I mean that should tell you I, I don't think I've ever eaten rice cafe I, actually I've never had happy china I've had a lot of drunk drunken rice cafe trysts 
People always talked about Taste of China being bad. It's not open anymore. I've not been to Taste of China. Not I've not anymore. been to Happy China. Excuse me. I have had some close, J-Cab. Close. <laughs> I don't know, I, not to get like super personal or anything, but um, in terms of uh, that sort of thing, um, I am I consider myself top tier in, in the, the pooping department. I do it about four to five times a day. Ridiculous. Ridiculous amount of pooping. <laughs> I know. Um, when you are, when you eat like I eat, which is mostly like a fucking rabbit, and you've been a vegetarian for this long, you start BMing like a rock star. No, that's what I'm saying, though, Tyron Heal. It's it's a lot. I don't. I think it's great. Like you, you just you feel like light on your feet. Yes, yes, I'm okay because I'm in Bidet Town. I will I will talk anyone's ear off about how great bidets are. I have two of them. I've installed them myself. They're amazing. Amazing. <laughs> That's right, nervous hair. They're, they're not like little pellets. But that's we don't need to go into detail. We don't need to go into detail. We're done. We're done. We're, we're moving on. Sounds kind of like you want to go into detail. No, I don't want to go into any detail. I, I'm on a, I, I can just imagine myself running for office and someone be like, my opponent. Oops, five times a day. Shits his fucking brain. He out. needs. Where, when's he gonna legislate? <laughs> yeah, how is he gonna have time to pass any laws if he's shitting all the time? And to that, I have no rebuttal. Get it? <laughs> rebuttal. Oh, I hate. I hate pooping not at home. Yeah, I mean, I do it, but I don't love it. Oh, I hate this part. I love how Matt at the start of this is like, if you play for like the first 10 minutes. I, I, you want me to play? No, that's good. Okay. I did. I, I was, um, I was Buster the Fluster Duster when we started this. Oh, gosh. I am so excited about these fire tweets. We were super late. The the flying the the spiders in the air really drive me nuts. Just like the pirate with a steering wheel in his pants. Yep. <laughs> Yar. Driving me nuts. me nuts. Dad jokes. Dad jokes. Dad jokes. Tyron Hill, would you like? Are, am I to save these, or would you like me to look at these on stream? How the frick do I swim down? Again, this is post Mario 64. This stuff should have figured out by now, Naughty Dog. All right, I'm looking at him. I'm looking at him. <laughs> okay, I'll try to do this tweet justice because it's it's accurate. It's it's one of the conversational uh, meme formats. Friend, my wife left me. I got laid off. My kids won't speak to me. I can't do this anymore. Me, going through a, I just got a bidet and need to tell people about it phrase. <laughs> you know what would help with all that? <laughs> a bidet? Right. That, that's the implication. And a tweet that says November 1st. Bye, ghosts. I love you. Bye, ghosts. <laughs> I will always be with the ghosts. <laughs> I would be extremely upset if Tyron Heal just sent me a bunch of dick pics and said, check out these tweets. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think it's above you. I know, but... Do those go up? Nice. 
Good. That is exactly what you should be doing. I never understood the uh, the send unsolicited dick pics thing ever. Ever. Don't do that. Come on. Tricky dicks. <laughs> Just send Richard Nixon's. Look at all these Nixons. All right, do I get over here? I like the way the water, that like oily water looks. Looks pretty That's cool. That's dark eco. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Dark eco to you too. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. I think I've talked about it on the show before, but the end with your spirit thing always threw me. And with you. It was peace be with you and always with you. And and also with you. That's how I that's how and I also did with it. you. That was uh the nine billion masses that I went to as a kid. That's how we did it. Okay, now I can get the heck out of Spider Cave. I didn't get all the scout flies, but... I oh, there's only one moon. No, I'm not. I don't know where the seventh one is, and I'm not looking for it. Yeah, that's... that's. Uh, I've never been to a Greek Orthodox uh, mass before, so I, I don't know. I just know where they were around a place we grew up. Around the place that we grew up. Ha <laughs> ha. Wink, wink. Nudge, wink. nudge. Say no more. Say no more. There was the uh, Serbian Orthodox... Um, there was the Greek Orthodox. There was, um, there's a lot of really, there's a Sikh temple. Like, there's a lot of cool places around there that yeah, look gotta, amazing. Figure out how to leave this accursed place. The old, uh, the, the hang up that some people still had when I went to, uh, school and mass was, uh, people still hung up about the fact that mass wasn't in Latin anymore because you could do it in the local language, and people were upset about that because that's stupid. What the heck? <laughs> Bill Orthodox, Stephen Orthodox, a lot of Orthodoxes, you know? We're the Orthodoxes. <laughs> I am 300 years old, that's correct. I'm older than a lot of people think when they first meet me, um, and when they learn, they're like, wow, wow, you're old. And I say, thank you. It's not appropriate. <laughs> I do love pickled vegetables, though. Pickled vegetables are so good. So good. Soured kraut? Uh, yeah, sign me up. Yeah, this guy kept nailing things to a door. Well, um, let's see what I gotta do. <laughs> yours. Oh, look at that! They looked tired and old on Halloween. Well, that's most likely because uh, it's they a costume. It's my costume. They were tired and old. See you, Red Thirteen. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. At local college. <laughs> oh, I totally remember that. I think that they don't have that anymore. Um, it was on Major Street at local university. This code's getting better and better. <laughs> Everybody knows what I'm talking about. It's so, it's, I don't even know why we talk so much in, we, we're talking about local restaurants like everybody knows and they yeah. can easily look up. <laughs> and then, uh, and, then uh, uh. and there's some times where we give away exactly where we live. And then there are other times where we oh, talk in code. Oh, yeah, I got it this time. <laughs> that's a different, that's different. It's a different one <laughs> near hometown. A power cell. Yeah, yeah. What he said. That's it. You cleaned us out. No more power. Power cell. Okay, Mario, settle down. Mario, Mario. And Luigi Mario. 
Mario, Mario. It's a Mario. <laughs> we no, we, it's fine. Like you don't have to go very far to figure out exactly where we are. And we have um, on the Twitter feed. I have on the Twitter feed at least. Like yeah, uh, pimped, promoted local like, shows. Like promoted our our local shows. So like, that is, it's all the way out there. That is true. Just about anywhere you go is going to have some sort of version of China number one or Happy China or or number one walk. You yeah. Another power cell. I'm so excited to eat dinner after this. Oh God. I have not. A power cell is the reward. Yeah, but to be fair, to be fair. <laughs> I think I saw that last one. Bad and hungry is a good place to be. Uh, not the hungry part. You can always take care of that. Bye. Making food. Maybe I didn't. I don't know where the last one is. I eat dinner really late, but this is pretty late for me even. I usually eat around 9 o'clock. That's so Eight, late for dinner. 8.30, 9 o'clock. That's just how it is. I like to live like the Europeans do. Maya and, Goal have gotten and, and that is to say, by the time I'm off of work, I have shit to do, and I don't get to eat dinner till later, and so I've just slid right into that as the all the time. Of course. Yeah, the reason that they don't tip is because they get, they get paid, paid a living wage. A living wage. <laughs> and they have health care. <laughs> oh, yeah. That sounds awesome. Gotta love those muck packets. Yeah, exactly. Health care? And you just, for being alive, you just get it? You don't have to prove you're worth it? <laughs> you, you teed us up. I'm, that's not how you drink it. You don't drink it sideways. You drink There's it with no the mouth part. That's the what? I was trying to drink it like this. Uh, what, what was our conversation about glugging and chugging? Oh, you, you, I don't know. Um, Can you glug a chug? What do you like? Do you like a glug? Do you like a good glug? When, when you're when you're drinking a bev, are you a fan if it glugs? Or I can't believe we're having this conversation with with Tyrant Heel right there. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna have something to say about it. Are you are you a glugger? Do you chug? <laughs> are you a glugger? Do, are you a fan of the glug? I <laughs> I agree. I'm not a glug fan. I I'm a anti glugger. But are you a chugger? But do you like to chug? Because I think you can <laughs> chug a glug. Do you like? I like to chug without the glug. But it's tough. It's tough when there's no glug, because you have to really you have to do the, the the what do I want to say like self measuring and what, how much you're ingesting. You have to be in charge of that, or else it's just gonna spill all over your your side of your face and everything. Glug is is a good comedic sound word. Yes, yes, woo, yes. Woo, woo. I made it. <laughs> go, 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 go. I remember in high school when I used to edit mil movies and I was happy. Um, How do we not have enough for the long? We, we made a, a movie called Blood the Movie because we were trying to push the boundaries of what was acceptable we could do for a school project. I need one more power cell. And they had we, we had a bunch of fake blood. Um, we made some and we had some, but we had it in like old milk containers. And so when we were filming, it was like someone slashing somebody else and like blood spraying out. Like a comedic, we were very into Tarantino, like a comedic amount of blood. And so we were off, we were just out of frame and we were taking the blood and just like throwing it out of a milk jug, but it kept making this glugging noise. So when I was editing, it was like, glug, 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 glug. <laughs> it's great. I wish I still had the raw footage of it. I have the movie, but none of the, the actual footage. Man, I miss editing movies so much. It was so much fun. 
Oh my gosh. The last one I really edited was we did a drunk history style video for a friend of ours and everybody acted in it and that was a lot of fun and that was in 2016 that was like right after trump got elected it was like the day after his inauguration i think it was like the day of the women's march in dc and locally it's fun to watch it's really fun to watch it took me a long time to edit but it was totally worth it and i enjoyed it It is uh, private, so you. It is unlisted on YouTube. I cannot uh, post it to, because. <laughs> Classic yes. man move. I was like, you know what I want to do instead? Literally anything besides supporting women. Oh, supporting dames? Not in, not in my house. Women, right? I mean, come on. I didn't. I didn't get drunk. I was not doing any of the storytelling. Um, I didn't have any stories really. It was some other people, and I was the camera person. I played one role, and I also edited all the other. Nervous hair was in the filming. You sure did. You were great in that. <laughs> Appearing as himself. <laughs> that was my fav that story was my favorite one to edit. Like it, it came together so so beautifully. It's really hard to get people to talk at a speed of a previous recording. Like trying to get like we had like earpieces in, we were like playing it over the it was it's really, really tough to like mix that oh, up. I can't, that's definitely not how you do that. And he's not in the chat, but uh Grunart Malk has no rhythm. We've talked about this. Zero natural rhythm. So him trying to talk to a previously recorded thing, I kept having to cut his stuff up so much. It was wild. I should go back to this one. Negative rhythm. That's right. The rhythm will never get him. Well, I'm one energy thingy short from what I need. How do you get it? I just <laughs> get like that. Burnt up. Toe up. No, there's, I don't know, I gotta go get one from somewhere. I don't know how to get the last one here in this area. Yep. That's right. Mr. Too Damn Tired. Guys are not. Maya and Gaul have gotten in over their heads. <laughs> Maya and Gaul have gotten in over their heads. I just I just looked at my text from Maticon. Mm -hmm. I, I it's a video, I can't play it yet, but it's from a guy named Alex Patak. He's a very funny individual. He does some podcasting. He talks in a very funny way that I wish I could talk like. You do not understand Mastodon. It's like Twitter, but the servers are all connected if they want to be. You don't have to. So, like, a lot of people can host servers that they want, and they can communicate, but the, the moderators have to, um, like, allow communication between servers. Actually, kind of like the old Usenet, if you're aware. What's up, Barry Fireblade? Yeah, hey, we're playing the yeah. PS2 original version. That's right. On real hardware. Thanks for coming into the stream. <laughs> That's, fine. That's fine. I got the power cell I needed so I can head back now. <laughs> Let me squirt past you and grab the ranch. Just squirt past you and grab that power cell. Uh, just like <laughs> Let me just uh, squirt past you. <laughs> Alex Patak is super funny. 
He, uh, whenever I hear him on a, a show, he almost inevitably gets, he says something that's so out of left field that like it catches me off guard and I'm, I'm sitting there laughing out loud like an idiot wherever I am. Oh, that seems like poor planning. There's very little ranch at this orgy. Yeah, talk to your hosts. Medicon, what would you like to say about Alex Patek? That's a good question. Um, it was probably uh, an episode of Pod Damn America, but I couldn't tell you because I listened to so many fucking episodes of everything that uh, I, I don't know. Uh, recently, I've been I've been uh, ticking a lot of books off my list, so that's been I, I've been a little bit out of podcast town uh, since I've been using Libby, and I got one of my books on my off my hold list. I still haven't gone to the library to. <laughs> it's great. Card. I mean, I didn't have to pay yep whatever thirty dollars to get that audiobook. Um, the history of everything. With, by D uh, David Graeber, who was um, an activist who died a couple years back. Yeah, Pod Dam is great. Um, he doesn't come to the chat, but uh, Taylor Dane got me hooked on Pod Dam America probably about four plus years ago. And I, I think it's pretty funny, but the guy who's like the host of Pod Damn America, uh, do you remember, do you remember well. the alternative band Eve Six? Oh yeah. The um, they released a new album this year, and the person who's on the cover of their new album is the host of Pod Damn America, Jake Flores, because they became friends over leftist politics, and that's pretty great. Do you follow them on Twitter, Eve Six? Oh yeah, so definitely. Great. Oh, I listen to Well, There's Your Problem. Me, in my background, and, and of course, of course, I listen to Well, There's Your Problem. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, oh, oh. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna miss all that you stuff. You got all this orange science over uh, uh, around you now. I forgot. We'll just be shooting stuff. Nice. Are you trying to throw this out of whack? I think so. Let's get going. Uh -oh. I don't know where to go now. I don't know. That, that way Trash Future is probably if I'm like if people are like dabbling in like uh, uh, t tech. Uh, uh, what a skepticism and most people are these days trash future is like primo pot it's really funny it's like the only thing that's come out of that hell country that i like yes do it uh, i can't listen no! to conversations no! Oh, I got it! I can't believe you got that. That was wild. That's right. You're a pro gamer. That's right. Someone did this their entire childhood and it was me. <laughs> and it shows. Oh, how am I not? Someone. Nope. <laughs> ah, all that talk. Someone saved a lot of big. Oh. Someone saved big money, is what I'm saying. At Menards? At Menards. Not for this game, I didn't. No, I imagine this one was a little bit too highbrow for the Menards crowd. You can't get this one of food and stuff. <laughs> Tech ske skepticism, kind of like uh, like people who are like, um, probably like, uh, you know, if I'd place it like during the Obama years, you know, tech was going to save us, which by the way, great podcast, Tech Won't Save Us, Paris Marx, the guy who wrote that book. Um, so like they've realized that like, oh, these companies are just companies. They're not trying to save humanity or anything. They're trying to make a fucking profit. Right. And so... 
Tech Won't Save Us, or sorry, uh, um, uh, what the fuck, um, a Trash Future is about all of the like scamminess of tech companies. Um, really good podcast. I recommend it. One of my favorites. Uh, not just for tech skepticism, but like in general. It takes a left bent towards stuff. Based in the UK. But I will say for people, you know, not that it has any relevance to where we are in any town USA, but there is a person there who lives there permanently but grew up in Carmel, Indiana. And so they, they reference Indiana a lot, uh, one of the hosts. So, you know, food for thought there. Is this stream going Web3? Oh, we are definitely going on the blockchain. We are going to release Tim and Matt NFTs. Uh, T and M and F T's. To the map. Apes. <laughs> That's right. What a stupid thing. Yeah, but it's not stupid because we're going to mint them and you're going to buy them. You're going to give us a bunch of money. We're going to go to the moon. Ah, ah I dang it. I couldn't tell how far away it was. It was like I had no depth perception. I think it's, whenever I hear like hosts are from Indiana, I was like, but no one's from here. No, nobody lives here. <laughs> What, this is any town USA? It sure is. God. 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 I swear <laughs> that I. Whoop. Did everyone get their tickets to the Blink concert? <laughs> I joke because they're impossible to get. I'm gonna shoot this stuff. I, I did not. I have not listened. Like I said, I, it's been. A, I've only been listening to like a few podcasts. Uh, most of the time, I'm just trying to finish these audio books. I finished three this past week. Three audio books. So um, I get some sort of cool prize. Oh, nice. Who made this tube? I don't know. Bowser? Man, that was two power cells? Done with the tube. Damn. One, one was for the scout flights. Mm. Look at that framey. Framiness. Oh, did we get to activate a portal? That's right. Hey! Where's old short green and wrinkly? You got a GG. GG. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think Gall and Maya may have kidnapped him as well. Relax, sweetheart. <laughs> Relax. Everything under control. I wish. Under control? Lurker armies continue to grow across the Are you sure it's under control? Yeah, kidnapped. listen to this. Gall and Maya have gathered enough eco to complete their terrible plan, and to stop them, you're going to have to fight your way through their citadel. Yeah, you dinkus. Uh, yeah. That about uh, sums it up. Maybe we'll see the you thrilling conclusion. <laughs> Look, we're gonna beat the game. We're gonna beat the game next time. Yeah. We got. We're, yeah, for sure. Just like Half Life Two, we're almost done. Honestly, though, there is only one more area, but I don't know if we can do it all in one. No, we have to let them think that we're gonna beat it next week. We're gonna beat it next week. We're gonna beat this game next week. Only one more episode left. Hey, look, we're in the Go on Maya Citadel. This is this is it. <laughs> huh? 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 Whoa, big robot! Next week is the final, con the thrilling conclusion. We are That's definitely right. going to do it next week. Is this the end? Is this the end for our heroes? Yep. So. Oh, I can't save it yet. Yeah, I was going to say as soon as we save it, I was going to kill it. We're a little over an hour now. Because someone decided to start super late. If you can free the four of us, oh, this man. This man <laughs> is talking. And his wood plank, the wood log wood. shoes, and log head. <laughs> you can save, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> Lava tube? Not anymore. Not anymore. I forgot it does auto save. Yeah, I just do it as a yep. safety. Well, 
Well, everyone. It's been fun. It has. Thanks for hanging out. Sorry yeah. we started so late. Yeah. Um, we are going to be uh, here next week. Um, and right. I will be this. I will be the player. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. And we should be starting at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Everyone set your watches by it. And I, I should also. Yeah. So we'll see you next time. On the next time. Bye.